Hey, what's going on everyone? Timeister here and welcome back once again to another episode of Bixton. In this episode, I'm going to be focusing a lot of time on the city in its current state. And what I mean by that is, rather than expanding, I want to make sure that what we have so far as a city is in proper order. So I want to overview all of my city services. I just want to make sure that the city is, is functioning as best as it can before expanding even more, right? Because I feel like if I don't do this, then as the city expands, I'm gonna be met with a whole bunch of problems and, and it's not gonna be good. So yeah, I'm gonna be focusing a lot on my city services, just making sure that all of my citizens are properly taken care of. And then I can start expanding. But I decided to have a little fun at the start of this episode and build a park right near downtown. I felt like downtown was looking a little bare and I thought that a nice central park would look really cool by this river just to add a little bit of variance in the downtown area. And in order to build this park, I had to move a few buildings such as uh, this mansion here. And uh, yes, I, I know guys, <laughs> I'm putting it near poop water, which is not ideal. Um, I honestly, I didn't even realize that I put these mansions right near the sewage water. I was so fixated on the topography of the land. I was like, oh, this would look really cool to have a couple of mansions. They have their own little peninsula kind of hidden from the rest of the city. And I didn't even look at the water at all. So thanks for pointing that out. So yeah, I'm eventually going to move the sewage outlet. I'm, well, I'm actually going to replace it with a wastewater treatment plant eventually, but Again, it's really, really expensive, and it doesn't really benefit your citizens that much. It benefits nature, but my citizens won't really gain from it. I won't gain any money or anything like that, so building that, building early game is... I mean, it's fine, <laughs> but it's, it's gonna make the rest of the city a little bit more tougher to manage. Because it's like really expensive, I think. I, I forget how much it is. Uh, but yeah, it's not cheap, but I'll get to it eventually. But for now, I'm going to focus on the central park and I'm going to make use of some prefabricated parks. And in between, I'm going to take advantage of the new pedestrian paths in City Skylines 2, which honestly are a huge upgrade from the walkable paths in City Skylines 1. I mean, they're so much more flexible. They're actually an appropriate width. You know, they're not the width of a two-lane road anymore. <laughs> the only thing I wish was included in the base game, like I feel like this should have been included, is dirt paths, right? Because, I mean, we had those in City Skylines 1. Why not include them in City Skylines 2? Um, and it would also be cool to have some different width paths because, you know, in City Skylines 1, I think included in the uh, Promenades DLC, you had like these wonderful, like really wide paths that often looked super cool in parks such as these. Uh, but you know what, for now, these normal paths are just fine. They're honestly a ton of fun to build. They're like so flexible. And you have a couple of bridge options with them as well. So I'm not gonna make use of any of those in this episode, but I'm sure I'm gonna plop some at different parts of the city. All right, guys, here we go in the live play. Here is an overview of the park I just built. This over here is not part of the park. Um, as you can see, I zoned some residential over here, uh, but my medium density demand is super low, so nothing's gonna build here for quite a while. I couldn't build any low density residential because it's just not suitable. 
Um, but that's okay, it'll eventually build up. All right, so now let's get into the thick of this episode and let's check our healthcare, which is kind of in shambles at this point. Um, so healthcare availability, we're almost at our wits end, right? Uh, if I check at my clinic, oh, that's weird. Why do I only have 45 beds occupied? But when I check my healthcare statistics, Sick or injured, 58, capacity 100. Okay, maybe this bar is just a function of like capacity versus average health. But yeah, that's that's pretty poor. You know, average health, 53%. It should probably be a lot higher than that. So at this point, I think it's time that I place another clinic on the other side of town. You know, the range just isn't great on these clinics. Which is kind of weird because if I check, you know, police, the the radius is a lot bigger. Fire is even bigger. Like, we're barely reaching the farms over here, but the rest of the city is green. But hospitals, wow, that's such like a tiny radius. But anyways, uh, it is what it is. How am I doing economically? So I'm losing about 26000 a month, which... A lot of you pointed out to me isn't horrible you know it's early game I have five point almost 5.5 million in the bank I can afford a, a loss for quite a while and I'd rather my citizens be happy and healthy than making money hand over fist right so you know we got to take care of our citizens make sure everybody's happy so I didn't check my happiness before placing that hospital but it looks like it increased the overall happiness quite a bit um, but now everybody is complaining of high crime so let's check our crime stats see what's going on here so jail availability we have plenty of room because I only have one police station yeah it's right in the middle of town um, oh I don't have a prison though so I have a jail which is meant for temporarily housing criminals but then I don't have a prison. I don't think I unlocked a prison. I think that's an unlockable item, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, prison, four points. All right, well, I should probably buy that pretty soon. Because these people are just going to be in a holding cell forever if I don't. Holy crap. Average crime probability, 15%. So there's a 15% chance you're going to get mugged in Bixton every time you step outside. So that's not ideal. Um, honestly, is there anything I can do about this without placing another police station? What kind of upgrades do I have? Garage extension basically just provides more space for police vehicles. Hmm. Do I place another police station? I think I do. I think it's warranted at this point. But where is the question? I think I'm just going to place it right over here on Pacific Street. This might be a temporary setup, but I feel like over here is probably okay. Because this police station is going to service all of this land. Alright, so we got that covered. Healthcare should be fine now. I think fire and rescue is okay. Fire hazard, 27%. I mean, the whole city is green. Except the farms, but... You know, it's probably not worth placing a police or a fire station just for those farms. Um, what else? Oh, you know what? This whole time, I've been exporting my garbage. That's probably costing us a ton of money. Let's let's see what's going on here. Services, uh, recycle. Oh, okay, it's not costing me anything. So is the solution just not to? worry about garbage like I'm exporting everything for free basically <laughs> 35 tons a month for free okay I don't know what to do about is is that a bug okay well I guess we'll uh, we'll skip that for now uh, and let's take a look at our education which like, even, like, these elementary schools, the range is so tiny. Weird. Um, but, yeah, our school is, like, 
almost at max capacity as you can see i think it's time that i upgrade this school at least so i'm gonna upgrade it but at the same time i have my high school over here doesn't have a lot of students yet you know i think i may need to place a second school because like the range is just so tiny on these uh oh <laughs> it's probably not gonna fit anywhere near here not here oh it'll fit oh no, it won't even fit here i'm gonna place another school Maybe I should have done that before expanding the capacity on this one, but it's fine. You know, it's eventually going to get filled up anyway. So there we have it. So all of our basic service needs are met. Parks and Recreation, we're doing all right. Maybe I'll add a small park over here, I suppose. You know, make sure that these folks are, are all set. I'll add a little park over here. There, so... Almost the entire city is green. Um, okay, public transportation. So, even buses are really expensive. So, I'm not going to invest in any buses just yet. However, I can expand on my taxi shelters. Oh, actually, no. I'm not going to do that. Shout out to Mr. Moo for suggesting or letting me know that there is an upgrade uh, dispatch center. So, this allows our taxi depot to or it allows taxis to pick anybody up from anywhere so no longer can they only pick up passengers at taxi stations they can actually pick them up from anywhere so that is a huge plus that's going to help traffic quite a bit i think foot traffic as well because not everybody's going to coagulate to uh particular areas communications i haven't gotten into communications yet actually i did okay sorry i totally forgot about that I have two towers and their range isn't great but it's still covering pretty much the whole city and I don't think anybody's really complaining of a lack of internet connectivity so I'm gonna leave it for now yeah no, nobody's really talking about that so I think I'm okay uh, but mail I have no mail infrastructure whatsoever do I start investing in mail? Because, oh my god, this is so expensive. But at the same time, government subsidies are there to help out early game. I guess I'm, I'm just so, like... You know, these, these numbers are just, like, so much bigger than in City Skylines 1. I'm just like, oh my god, how am I going to afford this? I'm going to at least place a post office, I think. I'm going to start off with this. I, I don't need a post sorting facility just yet but uh, a post office will do so where do we place our post office i think i'm gonna put it right here and then i'm gonna put a collection of mailboxes all around town and i suppose i can put them every other street oh, whatever I'll put one right near the post office it doesn't matter and they don't really cost anything to maintain and they're a hundred dollars each <laughs> so why not I probably don't need to place too many of these because it's probably going to cause problems. You know, there doesn't need to be 50 million of them, but a good number is good to have there. I think that should do it. Maybe a couple over here. Um, can industrial even use these? I'll put some down. Can't hurt anything. I'll just put them down the side street so it doesn't clog traffic up too much. There. 
I think that should do it. Oh, and look at that, guys. We're three quarters of the way to level seven. I'm really excited to get to level seven because then I get to unlock some new stuff. Um, okay, so there we have it. I pretty much ran through all of my services except power and water, actually. I should probably check into those. Oh, wow. Okay, so no longer are we producing enough power with just this power plant. I'm having to import power, um, which is not a terrible thing. But let's see here. Is there any upgrades to this? No, there's no upgrades to the small coal power plant building. So what you see is what you get, I suppose, with it. Um, but I don't think I want to place another power plant. How am I still making money? Oh my god, I was thinking like, you know, after this episode, I was going to lose like 100000 a month. But here I am making 25000 I guess it's worth investing in your people, right? <laughs> more educated people, better jobs, more taxes. I, I guess it's trickle-down economics, am I right? Um, okay, so what do we do? Do I place another power plant? I don't think so. If I'm going to place another power plant, I'm going to go big and go with like a gas power plant maybe a coal power plant but now we're talking about like some real big upkeep numbers or i could also go with wind because this is a super windy map how much are these Fifteen thousand a month each twenty-five thousand initial cost you know what How much power do they deliver? I should probably check that. Zero to five megawatts. Okay, so that's good because I'm only importing eight megawatts. So with these four windmills, this should help us out. So I'm going to connect them up. Oh, okay, that's just the electricity for the train tracks. Connect that up to the main grid, just like that, and we should see, poop. there we go. Our electricity trade is now in the positive, so we're now exporting uh, 11 megawatts. All right, which is going to make us a little bit of money. So I'm losing money right now because these windmills are a little expensive to maintain, but it would be a lot more expensive if I wasn't exporting electricity. Okay, so that does it for power. What about water and sewage? Uh, I'm okay with that. I'm doing perfectly fine. The water pump can service the city quite well for the next little bit. But I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it um, and not expand too far. You know, just make sure that I don't get too carried away. So, I, okay, so <laughs> I thought it was going to take a lot longer than that to go over all of my services. Um, so it would have made this episode quite short. But I want to keep going. So I have some demand here for medium density residential. So I am just going to keep expanding here near downtown. So what a perfect opportunity to place down some more medium density apartment buildings. Looks like we got some nice buildings over here. This is awesome, guys. I think I'm going to start replacing some of these smaller, uh, you know, wall-to-wall -wall buildings with some bigger apartments. Hang on. If I destroy these and then zone this. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> My demand is already all gone. But luckily, we have a ton of low density. So here we go. This is all low density over here. I don't want to build too much along this stretch of road because this is probably going to become something. I, I may have to destroy an entire neighborhood at some point if I want to place like a central station, I'm thinking right here. We, you know, I've got a nice straight section of track here. Perfect for a big central station, um, but I won't get into that just yet. But otherwise, let's expand over here.
There, all right. You may have noticed, guys, that there's a total lack of not enough customer icons or whatever. Um, so there was a patch yesterday. So I'm posting this video on a Friday. Um, the Thursday before, there was a patch that fixed a lot of those issues. So, so I don't think you have to be as minimalistic with your um, commercial zones. I would still suggest you be careful and not place too much. But I think it's a little less of an issue. Alright, so here I am saying that I wasn't going to expand this episode. And I am just expanding like crazy now. Why are these homes like tiny? There we go. Filling in all the blanks in town. Um, I was thinking of having some trails along the water here. I don't think I'm going to place any homes. It's kind of a steep hill, kind of an awkward place to build homes anyway. I'd rather this become a park or something. Just we'll have some nice trails straggling along the water. All right, so we just crossed over 6,000 people. And we're almost to level 7. You know what? It would be cool to get to level 7 in this episode. So what is the problem here preventing us from getting some extra points for happiness? Unreliable healthcare coverage? I just plopped down another clinic. Oh my god, guys. My people are so fussy. Capacity is not an issue. Efficiency, 98%. Service budget... Oh, this might be why. I reduced my um, budget for healthcare. I'm going to bump that back up to 100%. And will that affect the healthcare coverage? Probably not. I, th I think coverage really has to do with like the actual coverage. And it looks like downtown is getting the worst of it. <laughs> um, okay, well, whatever. We're only losing one happiness for that. High taxes. I think I still have my taxes set a little bit higher for residential. Yes, they are. So I'm going to go ahead and lower those back down to 10%, which is the default value. And boom, just like that, it went away. Everybody's happy at 10%. So, you know, the, uh, the developers really weren't kidding when they said uh, you really don't have to touch taxes. So I think I'm just going to leave it as is for the next little bit. And look at that, we got some extra XP for just uh, getting our people a bit happier. Um, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I said I wasn't going to expand this episode, but I think I'm going to lay down the infrastructure required to expand. Okay, so I've been eyeing this area over here. This area is nice and flat as well. I shouldn't say nice and flat, but it's flat enough to build on. It's pretty suitable. I'd like this to be a sort of like separate little district. It's own little town that's separated from this mountain. And I kind of imagine this area being like a, a Coney Island kind of thing. You know, it's like where people in New York go to vacation. And, uh, or maybe like Staten Island, you know, it's like a, a nice little getaway area. That's what I see when I look at this place. So I'm going to start to build some road infrastructure over here and get ready to expand.
And here we have it guys, nice little town, kind of separated by the mountain. It almost feels like it's an entirely different town, but it is two minutes from downtown. Um, so leave me some name suggestions guys for what I should name this. This is going to be a totally separate district. Who knows, I might even need to provide it its own services and whatnot. And why is this not building? Oh, it's because it's attached to this street. Okay. Oh, it kind of ruins the terrain. Hang on. Um, I think if I unzone this half, maybe. Yeah, that's definitely better. Uh, should I have houses here? Nah, it's a little steep. But I can add some houses here. This is not too bad. A couple little shops too, perhaps. And over here is pretty flat. There. I think that's fine. And this is eventually going to be a big park. Like this is going to be Central Park. Because um, it's, it's just a big hill. But uh, we'll get to that at another time. Alright guys, so here we are on the verge of reaching level 7. So I'm hoping to reach level 7 this episode, but it n might not be possible. Um, unless I start expanding over here. I think I'm going to call it for now, actually. I don't really want to go over what happens at level 7. I'd rather reserve that for next episode. So next episode, I'm going to start things off at level 7. And at that point, I'll decide what is going to happen with the city. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. This, honestly, was a really, really fun episode. I can't wait to get out of winter, to be honest. For the last three episodes, it's been winter. <laughs> Winter's very long. It's it's literally like six months of snow uh, because we are in Sweden right now. You know, because this Tampere map is pretty high up there in latitude. All right, guys, so once again, that is going to be it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment, be sure to subscribe to the channel to get notified of future episodes. And until the next episode, take care, everyone.